Falcon Heavy is in startup. There we go. Falcon Heavy has just entered the startup phase. Go for launch. And with confirmation of go for launch from our launch director, Falcon Heavy is ready to go to space at T minus 37 seconds with the Viasat 3 mission. seconds into flight under the power of five million pounds of thrust falcon heavy is headed to space now we are throttling down our engines on those side boosters and that's in preparation for max q power and telemetry nominal max q is the moment of peak mechanical stress falcon heavy is supersonic peak mechanical stress on the vehicle so we do slow down the vehicle to get through this period of high stress and once we pass through Max-Q, we will throttle those engines back up on those side boosters. Max-Q. And great call out, we have passed through Max-Q. So we're gonna throttle up those engines again on these side boosters. You can follow along the telemetry on your left hand, on the bottom left hand of your screen. You can see the speed and the altitude of the vehicle and some incredible views of Falcon Heavy in flight. Now, two minutes into flight, we will reduce the thrust on the two side boosters again, and that will be to decrease the forces on the vehicle structure. And that's because the vehicle is now lighter as we're burning through the fuel on the vehicle, uh, but the thrust will remain constant. And wow, that looks amazing on the screen, all three boosters burning bright there. Falcon Heavy is following a nominal trajectory. And good call out on trajectory. Now again, we're gonna throttle down the side boosters and then the next event coming up in about a minute or just under a minute will be Biko, that's booster engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down the engines on the side boosters and then we will separate the side boosters from the center core. And as a reminder, we are not landing our side boosters or center core today due to performance needed on today's mission. And you can see on your right hand screen, we do have a view of the separation mechanisms from the center core to the side boosters. And Biko, or booster engine cutoff, is coming up here in a few seconds. MVAC engine chill has started. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. Both side boosters, FTS is saved. Great views there. We had Biko booster engine cutoff, and we watched as those side boosters, and you could see them there on your screen, those side boosters falling Vehicle away. Is following a nominal trajectory. Falling away from Falcon Heavy's center core. Awesome views. That's going to wrap it up for the side boosters today. The next event coming up here in about 30 seconds or so is main engine cutoff. That is also called Miko, and that will be on the center core, followed by stage separation and then the startup of our second stage engine. Main 
and engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one FTS has saved. MVAC ignition. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. And we got some great views. We watched Miko as the engines on the center core shut down, stage separation, and now you can see on your screen that the MVAC engine has ignited. Now we are coming up on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. And also we're able to see and hear the call out that- Stage two is following a nominal trajectory. That the fairing halves have separated. They are now falling back down to earth and we will attempt to recover them using our recovery vessel, Doug. Now what you're looking at on your screen is a view on our second stage, looking aft at our MVAC engine. And our MVAC engine on the second stage is currently in the middle of its first burn. This burn has about a minute and a half left. After that, we'll have an additional two burns of our second stage engine before payload deployment. On your left-hand screen, you could see a map of the mission trajectory. And on your right-hand screen is a live view of the MVAC engine. As a reminder, our main payload for today's- Stage two continues to follow a nominal trajectory. Good call outs. Our main payload for today's mission is Viasat-3. And we do have two secondary payloads on board as well from Gravity and Astronus. That is the Gravity Space One and Astronus's MicroGeo satellite. You're just now joining us. We're currently in the middle of the first of three burns for this MVAC engine today. The next event coming up is in just under a minute and 15 seconds. We will have Seco one or what we call second engine cutoff one. That will end the first of those three burns. Today's mission marks SpaceX's 28th launch this year, 227th overall mission to date, and our fifth operational Falcon Heavy mission. Stage two, FTS has saved. Now on your right-hand screen, you can see the MVAC engine. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. And we're getting good, good call-outs there. On the bottom right-hand of your screen, you can see the speed of the second stage as well as the altitude. And we are about 20 seconds or so from Seco one That's where we will shut down this MVAC engine and allow the vehicle to coast with the payloads on board. Expected loss of signal cape. And you could see that MVAC engine beginning to shut down. We did hear a call out for expected loss of signal. Nominal parking orbit. And we got confirmation of good orbit. So with confirmation of second engine cutoff and a good orbit, we'll be heading into a coast phase until our second relight of our MVAC engine around the T plus 30 minute mark. 